All right, so uh, doing this interior on this 70 Wildcat, and uh, I have punched through here, and then uh, just want to take it back through. That side, then uh, now normally people will be doing this stuff and they working with bigger areas than what I'm working here. So I just gotta try to make this work the best I can here. Find a hole up underneath. Sometimes I have to come up under the back of this. Sometimes I have to come up under the back of this. that in there. Now this is really expensive guys what I'm doing here. These buttons, uh, I don't have a button machine to make these buttons myself and the button machine I have it don't have the ends on them like that and that's what I really need to do to make these come out pretty pretty good here so and it's kind of weird because I had to do this like so 
because uh, this is gonna sit like this. This is two-door car, so <clears throat> I couldn't come all the way down. I had to make these buttons work with this up here because down here is the armrest. So I wanted buttons to come all the way across the bottom of this here. So I had to match this up with here, but then down here the buttons wouldn't come out right. So what I'm gonna see if I can do, I'm gonna see if I can sew me a white uh, weld cord through here to break these two up. But I'm gonna have to just see how that's gonna work out, but it's kind of a weird design. First time ever doing this too, guys, so, you know, I've done interiors, but I'm trying to get off into some different stuff here with the interior, so. Now, self-taught guys with all of this, so, you know, just trying to do it the best I can. All right, so this is the last one. So guys, like I say, most times people do these, they working with bigger areas. So this has really been challenging. Uh, and by it being my first time, it's really been challenging trying to get this uh, figured out. But you just want to bend that, crease that forward in a diamond, in a diamond pattern there. Get it bent over, find your hole on the bottom. And then bend this forward and I normally take this and just tuck, tuck it under so now I gotta pull this one tuck it under pull it under tuck it under
Alright, then I'll pull this button down, bend the tabs over on the bottom. Good, find this one. Bend it over on the bottom. And the good thing about this, guys, is that I took a couple of these out. And once that foam is pressed down and this is bent over, it kind of, you know, like remember that shape. So the reason I'm saying that is that as long as nobody's pulling and tugging on these, they should all stay, uh, I shouldn't have no problem. Now see, I got a button machine that makes these type of a buttons with the loops, but they wouldn't get tight enough for what I'm doing here. So I had to use the one with the pins on the end. So this is the front side and this is what the back look like. Now I'm gonna press these down a little better you know, later, or else I might uh, clip them and put uh, silicone to hold them in place. So I might clip quite a bit of these tabs down and like I say, but I'm going to bend them down a little farther. Alright, so I'll come in here now. Just pull me up a little of the glue. I don't need a bunch. Just need a little here. Get it off my table right away. Alright, so what I want to do with you now, guys, is uh, come in, and I want to get all of this glued up now. You know, I can use a spray gun, but make sure I don't blast everybody out with the smell just gonna wipe it on here Alright guys, so when you put this glue on here, you want it to set at least three, four minutes. And then you can uh, pull this and stretch this out and get this to come look even and, you know, the way you want it to look here at the bottom. So.
Oh, no.